All right, so today I'm going to continue with my Monopoly game. This is the eighth video of the series. I think it's the eighth one. Let's take a look. If you go to my YouTube playlist, board game, yeah, we have seven of these already. So this will be the eighth one. If you did not do these or you don't feel like doing them or you just want to follow along on this one, go to this URL. I'll put it in the description. Click on these three dots, hit edit, and you're going to get this exact board right here. So if you messed up on the other videos or something, you just want to start out fresh, you can do that. Um, or you can go through the videos one by one and see if you can get it, get this working. All right, so today I'm going to do chance. So I did community chess last one. I'm going to do chance on this one. Let's take a look at our, our board. Let's go to workspace and hit game board. Game board, let's see. I got tiles and tiles. Here's our community chess. Here's our chance, right? So did you see that highlight right here? That's our chance. We want a card to pop up when we click on it. First thing we need to do is get a sticker on that thing though, get an image on that so it looks like chance. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do this slightly different than in the community chess. I'm actually gonna add a surface GUI. So I'll do a surface, surface GUI. And on the surface GUI, I'm gonna add, a, let's see, image label. Now you can't see it. That's because the surface GUI, let's look at face on the surface GUI right here. Put the face as the top. There it is, popped up right there, tiny little thing. Let's make the image label span the full size of our tile. So go to our size on the image label here. And under X, I'll do one on scale. That means 100% of the tile, the full length of the tile. And then zero for pixel offset. That's on the X. On the Y, I'm gonna do the same thing, one and zero. And that spans it out there. All right, now let's go to our toolbox. And in the toolbox, I did some searching for a chance image. I found one, I found one I like. So I'm gonna say blue chance. There it is, right there. I'm gonna right click, copy asset URI, go to my image label, and under image, I'm gonna do a control V, and that's gonna paste my uh, asset URI. So we have that image there, that's pretty cool. All right, now what we're gonna do is just click the surface GUI, control D, bring it down to chance, chance two, so it popped up over there. Control D and chance three. There we go, it's over here. And it's facing in the right direction, I like that. All right, so in order to know what type of property we're landing on, we're gonna have buildable property, we'll have utilities, we'll have railroads, and then we're gonna have chance, we'll have taxes, things like that. I'm gonna use something called a string value. We did this with community chess. I'm gonna call this prop type for property type should be tile type maybe I don't know it's good enough like that property type for the value I'm gonna put chance right control D and then move that to chance two. control D move that to chance three so now we know what type of property when we land on it and I'll show you the code so that you can figure that out if you haven't seen the community chess we did it the same for the community chess all right, so under game boards, we can close these tiles. We're done with the tiles. Under uh, board utils, under our game board model, we have our script. And these are our variables. Right here, I'm going to add another variable underneath CC index. That's for the community chess index to tell you where you're at in the deck, which we have not randomized yet, as you can see by the note. And we're going to do chance index equals one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a note to randomize this to randomize deck at some point. I'm gonna use the same procedure for both of the decks. And here's, here's our deck, we call it a table, community chess table. And these are the different community chess cards. There's no action associated with it. So we're gonna make this table more complicated later on, more complex, I should say, right? But we're gonna do the same thing with local, chance table and just in case you can't see that i'm going to 
move that up. Oh, don't forget your equal sign. I missed an equal sign there. And now rather than typing in all of the strings for this table, I'm going to copy them. I'm going to put this in the description too so that you don't you can just copy them. I don't think you get a whole lot out about just you wouldn't get a whole lot of computer science training in just by copying this table. Just remember these commas, comma, it's a comma delimited um, data structure. So that's what separates the different values. There's no comma on the last value. All right, so that's our table with our cards in it. Well, our strings for the cards. Let's go down and we have this land on tile action. That's called in the move piece function right here, move piece. Move piece does a lot of stuff, but the very last thing it does before it returns the destination tile is the action associated with where you landed. All right, so let's go back to our land on tile or land on tile action. All right, so looking at this, this is for the community chess. I'm not going to need this print statement anymore because I knew that worked. And I see we have a player answered being set to false. We get the player name and we get the player from the game player service. We need that for every type of property. So I am going to move that outside of the if statement. I'll do control X to copy it or to cut it, control V to paste it. And there we go. I put that in the if statement, not really thinking. So I moved it outside the if statement so we can use it no matter what the condition is. All right, so here is our, this is our case for what we do when we land on community chest. It's gonna be really, really close for chance. So I'm gonna copy this, control C. And I'm gonna go here. And I will do an else if. So else, control V, and you'll see there's an else if here. Make sure there's no space here, right? Else if is, is one word in Lua. So if this doesn't work, we're gonna try else if to see if this works. Ooh, but we gotta change this. This is our prop type that we added on our tile. And we're gonna check to see if it says chance. All right, so now, this role result remote event is going to call our card that's going to pop up for our specific player, but we don't want community chess table populating the string. We want the chance table doing that. And we're going to use the chance index. All right? And we're also going to make, this is yellow. You can see it kind of lit up there. Let's make this orange. Because if you ever played Monopoly, chance is orange. So I'm just going to change that green value to be a little more orange. See, so yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, red is 255, green is 100, blue is zero. There we go. You can see that's the color. And let's go ahead and change these indexes here. So once we send a card to the you to the to the to the player so they can read it, we're going to increment it. We're going to say chance index equals chance, chance index plus one. If the chance index becomes greater than the number of elements in the chance table. That's what this little number sign does. It gets you the number of elements of that table. And we're going to just reset chance index to one. All right, that looks good. Let's format our text, format our document just to make sure nothing changed. Looking good, looking good. All right, let's try it out. So we could just keep rolling the dice, hoping to get chance. But what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to make testing a little easier. We're going to go to server script service. We're going to go to our game manager, and down where it says take turn, you'll see in the last video I hard coded that roll value to two, so it always land on community chest. We got to remember we're going to delete this line when we're gonna play the game, because we don't want always to be two. In fact, I'm gonna make this seven so we land on our, our uh, chance. Gonna play it, boom. And we're in intermission right now. Let's look at the output window. End intermission, three, two, one, boom. All right, now we can roll. Doesn't matter what we get here because we hard coded a seven. It should land right here. 
right on our chance. There we go. Woohoo! Advance to go, collect $200. And it's going to wait for me. It's going to wait. See, it's waiting for my response. And then when I hit OK, I actually win the game. I don't reset the game yet. That's something else I got to do. So intermission started again, but the pieces didn't move back. That's all right. We can do that. Not today. All right. So that's um, that's that's our chance. Let's go ahead and add another sticker here for the center of the board. Let's go to our toolbox. And I'm just going to say Monopoly. And we're going to find one with no properties on it. We're going to just get the center piece. That looks good. Color's not quite right. I do like that it has that outline now. Let me just delete that one. Let me try another one. Yeah, there we go. And now that we have our now that we have our sticker there and we have these two decorated, let's add like little uh, card piles. I'm not going to put a lot of time in decorating this. I'm just going to make a simple little block. I'm going to call that block um, com deck. Let me drag it inside my my game here, my board, my game board. Did I get it there? Yeah, I did. And then I'm going to make that one. That's com, so that's community chest. That's going to be yellow. Let's make it. Let's make it a little bigger. Let's rotate it too. Rotate that. We want it to be kind of in line. Yeah, scale it. It's going to look like a little card deck. Uh, I got to rotate it again. It's not quite right. Is that pretty good? That's pretty good. Make it a little higher. There. And you can, you can decorate that as much as you want. I think that's good enough for now. I'm going to make another one. I'm going to do a control D. I'm move this over. This is going to be orange because this is going to be my chance deck. Let's make it orange. What do we make that? Uh, 100 on the green. There we go. All right. It's starting to look like a Monopoly board now. And I will see you in the next video in the, in the series. And we'll just add to our game. We'll just keep adding until we have a whole Monopoly game going. So it'll be a lot of good programming, a lot of good logic that we can learn.